welcome, 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 all you entertainment holics out there in entertainment land. It's time yet again for another thrilling, exciting installment of You Guessed It, Wicked Entertaining, coming at you live every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Rock Rage Radio and Rock Rage Live. You can watch us live on our YouTube channel, Get Real Global TV. We're also Get Real Global TV on Twitch and TikTok. You can check out our Linktree page to see all of our social media and website links. Just type in at Jennifer DeVoe Muse. And you can check out our radio station, Get Real Global Radio, KGRL on Spreaker. And we're also syndicated on iHeartRadio, Spotify, YouTube Music. We're on TuneIn, Amazon Music, Audible, Apple Podcasts, plus pretty much everywhere else you can watch or listen to podcasts. We are distributed by Sony Music Entertainment, Sony Music Publishing, The Orchard by Sony, and 5050 Global Music Incorporated. I'm your hostess with the Moses, Jennifer DeVoe Muse. Hello to everyone watching or listening to this broadcast around the world. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. No, just kidding. Let's get ready to say <laughs> hello to the songstress, Amy. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Do you like do you like that? We guess get ready oh, yeah. to rumble. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, I think that was trademarked somewhere, and maybe I'll get sued if I say it. Um, oh, but I'm just kidding. Sue, I, sue, sue her, sue her. Just kidding. Yeah. Um, they won't get anything. I'm a Whatever. poor bitch. <laughs> you won't get nothing. <laughs> you want my castle in the sky? <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you like my pennies from heaven? You're not going to get <laughs> shit. That is what that comes down to. Uh, right. And somewhere out there in the world is the Mac Daddy of Metal, Shyler Staver, doing whatever Shyler does. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a myriad of things. Not with Any, us. Yep. Many things over. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Mostly looking cool, though. Yes, yes. With his, <laughs> or is that a mullet? What is he rocking? I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, wait, yeah. I'm not really sure. It's a flip these young thing. these young people and their hair hairdos. Yep. I don't know. Yep. Some sort what of do I know? I'm a boring blonde woman uh, with this. This. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty though. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> So is yours. So we, uh, yeah, I saw you <laughs> rocking it on uh, Facebook. I was like, "Woo! Look at her! Yeah. She go with that hair." I was like, "Oh, she having a good hair day. Look at that." Yep, I was. I was. Yeah, I even made it better today. I went home and curled it. Thought, yeah, I'm going to curl my hair for the show. <laughs> nice. And you know what I have to say to that? You're a beast. <laughs> <laughs> When I, I say beast, really I don't mean I don't mean it in a bad way. Obviously, beast uh, means you're ferocious. You're a winner. You're amazing. I'm totally rocking Hell's Gate tonight. I just wanted to point out. Gate. Gate. Our buddies uh, from Hell's Gate. Shout what do you out got, um, tonight. Jesus, what do we got? Oh, we got so many members. We got yeah. uh, Jimmy, right? Jimmy. Yeah. So we got Jimmy and Vinny and, Vinny. and Ryan. We have uh, right. Ben. Scarlet's right. on there. Right. Dan, I know they've all I think Dan, I think most of them were on the show. I think most of them were on the show during that. Yeah. 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 Big Bull Gary. He was on the show. Yes, I think so. He was on the show. Yes, I think so. <laughs> we, had wax, we had to wax, we had to wax the head though. Over. We had to we had yeah. to make it so his head didn't like you know. <laughs> Exactly. There you go. <laughs> did, did you ever see? Did you ever see the SpongeBob movie? <laughs> yeah. Which part? <laughs> when he takes the crown. When he takes the crown off, and she goes, "Bold, bold, bold." You got this like bright light. Ding. Oh You're like, my god. No, fuck, dude. That's not. Oh my god. <laughs> <It's just> wrong. <laughs> 
I, I was going to say, I was looking at myself before the show and I'm like, Jesus Christ, why didn't anybody tell me I, I'm, I'm creepy looking? I mean, my eyes. They look, they look beautiful. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> They're Aww. so green and so pale. It looks oh. like I have cataracts. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing those really creepy, like, you know, horrors, uh, horror, I you know, yeah. <laughs> contacts. Oh. Uh, no, these are just my eyes on a daily. <laughs> I would have believed everything. Oh. I just like to fuck with people. No, but I'm just like, Jesus Christ, do they really look like that when I'm on camera? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> just wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, we have too much fun on this fucking show. Just don't uh, pay, don't pay attention to us. We're crazy. Um, do we got anybody saying hello before we jump on with our guests? Oh, yeah, fine. we can ignore it all. It's fine. Uh, Rock Rage Radio is always saying stop by and have a drink. One of these days, Rock Rage Radio. One I know of one of these days. days we're going to stop by and have a drink. I don't know where the fuck you are, but I mean, we, we are... Know. It's fucked, oh, up we are, it's fucked up because we are. It's fucked up because we are Rock Rage Radio, <laughs> right? Stop by and have a drink. We're telling ourselves to stop by and have a drink. I don't know what's up with that. Um, and we're not gonna say anything from this other person. I don't know who they are, and I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're All not right. giving life to the evil. All right, there we go. Have enough. <laughs> have enough. You get no attention, sir. And not like it. And I don't care. And anyway, here we go. So <laughs> I'm sure you get a lot of hate texts for that one. Anyway, here we go. Never know. <laughs> but it's locked, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Um, because it's my show. All right, we're gonna bring on our featured guest. Thank you. Let's walk through that. Let's go. <laughs> we are featured guests on the show tonight. We've got Michael Blackwell, hip hop artist in the house. So uh, here, wait, hold on. Did you ever thought hey. you'd be sandwiched between two white blonde women? Uh, no, but um. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. It's gonna be okay. It's there gonna we be go. okay. We'll make it we'll make it less okay. awkward now, see you know. <laughs> there you go. I told you this is an adult show. I wasn't lying. Uh no, I was no telling you I don't like to tell people completely what to expect with it for the show. So I just say shit like, you know, we swear. <laughs> Our channel is marked explicit on YouTube for a reason. <laughs> And yeah, Spreaker cool, and Apple Podcasts and iHeartRadio <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Adult warning. Do not allow <laughs> your children under the age of 35 to watch this show. Exactly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no one under 12? I'm just kidding. I don't know. PG-13? I don't know. Maybe. My husband no. says PG-13 is... Uh, is worse than regular PG. I, I didn't know that. That's kind of it's kind of scary. You would think that PG thirteen would be people thirteen to seventeen should watch this. I don't fucking know. I don't know anymore. I can't. I can't. Uh, but we are here with our awesome guest tonight. Uh, so, dude, I was checking out your YouTube channel. Yeah. So go check out his YouTube channel. I like that. Pound cake. What's up with that? That's that's pretty badass looking. And and I'm gonna be playing that Coca Cola commercial. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so what's yeah, up that, with that? that? Was kind of a, cake. So what's pound cake all about? Okay, um, I knew that was coming. As soon as I get an interview about that song, um, believe it or not, that song. That term, which I actually heard a long time ago, because I started doing music, and the music was geared to plus-size women, thick women, and I heard it in a club, 
And the guy came up to a girl and he was like, hey, he goes, yeah, I want all that pound cake. And I, I was like, what? I'm thinking like, what did you just call her? And because I, I never heard the term before. And he was like, in slang words, that's an attractive, sick, you know, plus size woman. Now, yeah. majority of the women will take that as a compliment and laugh because it's just a play yeah. on words. Um, yeah. So I'm like, well, I ain't no pound cake. But 90% of them was like, you know, they'll, they'll run with it. And so I, I always was like, I should make a song called that. But I kind of veered away from it because I wasn't quite sure. I'm like, eh. I said, I got to test the waters with that. And the more and more that I started doing hip hop and doing songs about plus size women, I yeah. just recently, believe it or not, before I released the song, was doing a, a podcast. And the guy had mentioned that. And he was joking. And he was like, you know what? He says, you know what? You ever call one pound case? And I was like, it hit me again. And I said, all right, I'm going to go home and do something with this. And a good friend of mine, she's a vocalist, Lily the Goddess, who shout out to her. She wrote the hook for the song. And I run right. it past her. And she was just like, you want to do a song called Pound Cake, just to play on words. And I it, believe it or not, it took me two weeks to come up. Usually I can boom, boom, boom. It, because it was one of those songs where I didn't want to be offensive, but I wanted to have fun with it. I wanted right. to be more of a body positive song, but you know, yeah. have fun. It's hip hop. So we came up with Pound Cake. Um, me and her actually came up with the cover art because he said, you put a plus side model holding Pound Cake with some right. strawberries and whipping, just like a play on words. And that's how the whole song came about. Now, it's fine. I had the song writ wrote, but I didn't have music behind it. Um, shout out to my man Draz on the beat. He sent me this that beat for the song, and I was like, "Oh, I like this beat." But I said, "You know, because most of my music I do is upbeat. I like to think keep things upbeat. It's body positive. Keep it upbeat. Right. Um, yeah. Hopefully, like my my kind of music. If you're having not a great day, and, you know, even you know, plus size men or women, you can listen to it and kind of pick you up. So I said, "Let yeah. me work with that beat." I said, "That'll fit this," and it's a, I use a lot of puns and, and metaphors, but it was more in the fact that it's what hip hop used to be, just to have fun with it. Um, right, yeah. It, yeah. I, you know, it ain't about um, the cash, the drugs, um, mm. and, and, and all that. Because, um, yeah. one, I, I, I'm not rich, and two, I don't do drugs, and three, um, that just ain't my lifestyle. So, yeah. I did on what I knew. And with that song, we just thought it was a great play on words called Pound Cake. Now, it, it took off on Spotify. Um, it may not sound like a lot to people, but 8,000 views was kind of a shock within like a couple of days because I yeah, had no good. idea. I didn't think, you know, I'm thinking like, I don't know how this is going to pan out or you know, it might go get people, you know, <laughs> not like it. Um, and it really it, it blew up. Um, we never even put out a video, a music video, and I tell people, especially in hip hop, I can't say for other genres, but I can say in hip hop, when you're independent and you're not known, making a full fledged music video mm -hmm. is worthless. And because there's a lot of young cats like, oh, I want to make a music video. For who? Nobody knows who you are. Everybody's thing right now is either TikTok, you know, yeah. or, you know, Sometimes Twitter, Instagram, and they just swipe it. So they're not going to yeah. sit and watch three minutes of somebody they don't know unless you're famous. I don't. So I said, make make a video and then split it up and little promotion yeah. things on TikTok, on Instagram. Right. So that's what we're in the midst of doing because, um, just to be honest, you know, I, I'm happy everybody who likes the song and, yeah. and everything, but. A lot of people gonna know who I am for not a full fledged video, but you put the little things on TikTok, it's gonna catch mm -hmm. your eye. Yeah, so yeah, that's exactly. kind of the mentality it's smart. that we we going. Thank you, right? That's the way we went about about doing this. Um, because I was constantly I would put out songs a lot. Um, and this one kind of stopped me for you know, I put out like a song a month. This one kind of stopped me because we had so much response back to it. Um, nice. So like recently we went to uh, open mic and was it never been there? Wasn't sure. Didn't know what I was getting myself into. I mm -hmm. uh, say a little prayer before I got there. Um, 
and it went off really good. And the funny part about it was um, the open mic place that we were performing at, shout out to the mm-hmm. chill room over in uh, St. Petersburg. Um, awesome. The guys were playing poker a little bit from the stage. And all these guys turned around and was like, all right, man. I'm thinking like, I stopped some guy playing poker. Okay. I got, I got a good song here. <laughs> right. So, I mean, so far, everything about the song has been positive. The Coke commercial came was purely, I, I made it and I sent it to him. And a friend of mine I went to high school with works there. And he says, right. Mike, I'm going to send it and see if they'll actually use it. So what they, we came up with a deal. We put it on the internet. If it goes viral, then we'll go national. He says, so we, we sign. I can't tell you how many contracts we had to sign. I had to sign, but mm. we made that song part of the Coca-Cola deal. And cause I got tons of Coca-Cola coming to my house now. But, uh, and it, it was funny. I, 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 I drank it, but not that much. But I said, okay. <laughs> um, but I, w- I was cool with, you know, say, hey, we get that to go viral. We'll go national. Go ahead and put it out. And let it, you know, basically promote your song. And we had over 2,000 views on YouTube. So I was like, okay. Um, and then I started to learn. It was funny because they kind of educated me. If you, especially if you're an independent artist, the more you do, if you can get commercials with them using your music, right. there's a bigger way for you to blow up than, than just throwing on Spotify or throwing on Instagram or yeah. When you put them in those commercials, it's a, that blows them up bigger than anything. Because or a people movie see that people it's an everyday thing people use when they're inside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Exactly. So yeah. right. So so far, I mean we it's it's been pretty good. Um I got a probably whole refrigerator of coke coming to me. I, <laughs> uh, we pass it out to people. I was like, I didn't want this but um, here. this is what you're getting for your birthday this year. I'm, 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 Christmas. Yeah, yeah, that Christmas coming up. Everybody get, some, get a can. <laughs> <laughs> but, Every month, but it was fun. Day. I do appreciate it. Yeah. They're probably watching this. Like, thanks, thanks a lot. Um, <laughs> but thanks um, for the diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, oh. But that's how Pound Cake came about. We, we're still having fun with it. Um, we're still, like I said, we're working on just promoting it. Um, we've been making a, a house remix to it that comes out on September 6th. Um, nice. Just to put it in the, put in the clubs and get a club vibe to it. Um, we're actually working on an independent movie. Um, it's a short form, short form horror movie. Um, oh, that we yeah. put together, and uh, it actually has the song in it, so it's going to be where we got the script written, we got the idea. It's kind of it's real twisted. Hey, um, <laughs> it, it's just I, I love I love horror movies and I love thriller thriller movies, and I'm, I'm the thinking, kind of person that yeah. you want to catch me in a movie like a movie. I gotta I gotta you gotta hit me right from the door, so. We're gonna have you back on. Make one of those ones. We're gonna have you back on when you guys go to do the movie, and but you're gonna come on our other show for horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. See, we're gonna get you on the other show to showcase the movie. You see what I'm saying? We could we could do both really, because this show could be for either. To be to be honest with you, you could do both. You know what I mean? Because that way you're promoting on two different markets. Oh, I, I truly appreciate it. I, I would love to. Um, it's taken a while to put together because for me, I, I have to make something that when I, like, if I watch it, it's got to hit me from the door like, oh, wow. That's the kind, have- of, kind of horror movies that I you know I like. Um, it's the yeah, same when I'm like, music. When have, I hear- have Kadrolsha in it. Have, have uh- Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Have her, have her be that 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 one that one white blonde chick, you know, <laughs> that survives oh, yeah. at the end of the fucking movie. It's always that one fucking chick. 
You only <laughs> ever see you only ever see a black person live to the end of a movie, very rarely in a horror movie. And you know what? It was remember Tay Diggs and uh, on the House of Haunted Hill, wherever it was there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. The only I was clapping. I was like, yes, yes, he fucking lived. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't we don't make it to the end. No, usually <laughs> we, we, never. We don't make it to the end. Usually, movies. one of the first people to get killed off. Even yeah. the stupid oh, yeah. blind bimbo tripping through the woods in high heels. Why is she wearing high heels? I never understand that. Are you shitting yeah. me? Who wears high heels in the woods? Nobody. Okay, you, you want to die. You want this person <laughs> and they never do <laughs> it's funny you mention that because uh the movie company called the asylum and they made yes. tons and tons of movies and um, they had came to florida to make a movie it was a shark movie and it, 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 this was it was a stick and i was like oh i'll cast to be you know and in, in for something even though i can't swim i don't like water but i said <laughs> you know it's asylum you know it's, you can't pass that up so right. they said, okay, yeah, we was gonna they was gonna shoot the movie and uh it was down at Clearwater Beach, but they got stopped from shooting the movie because they wanted to go out further than they were supposed to. And here we find out it's really shark infested. So you oh. really can't shoot a movie out there. So yeah. the asylum said, Well, that's okay. We wanted to be more realistic. So what? I said, Well, what was my part? Yeah. So they said, Well, what was what was my part of being in the movie? He says, oh, when you're going to be on the boat, did you fall off? I said, you know what? Can I just get a poster of it or just get a free DVD? I'm good. I'm, I'm I appreciate it, but <laughs> no, you don't want to be the first one. You're the chum. You're the chum. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, I, like, I, I said, said no. Well, you'll said, uh, you'll be good. chum after. <laughs> oh my God. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I mean, they were they were really cool black man senselessly killed in a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, can I feel the soundtrack? Because <laughs> you know, but I mean, bring it was Diggs with they you. were real cool. Bring Tay Diggs, <laughs> bring, bring Tay yeah. Diggs as, your, as your date. He'll keep you safe. You'll live to the end. <laughs> I even asked if they had a stunt man. It was like, oh no, because no, you you can you'll be okay. I'm like. But we're not allowed to shoot the movie anyway. And I was just like, oh, okay. Man. He said, well, we'll keep you in mind. I said, like, okay, I appreciate it. He was, they were really cool. They're really nice, really nice people and everything. But it was just, I couldn't believe that that's where they wanted to shoot. And there's a section on that beach. You can't go out so far because in that part of the water here yeah. in Florida, there's actually a part where it's, shark, it's really bad shark infested. They oh, wanted wow. to shoot out there to get the life like. And I was just like, Nah, that's okay. I'm I, with you. I I'm with you, Michael. Yeah. I'm with you, Michael. Can you just send me a DVD <laughs> copy? Can I get a flyer, a poster? Yeah. Other than that, hey, no. <laughs> yeah. Smart so you're, man. So you're primarily based in Florida? Yes. Is that what I understand? Okay. Right. St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's a. Uh, Born and raised in Ohio, I came to. I've been here in Florida for 13 years. Um, it, it's it's a big change, I and mean, even though I've been here so long, because in Ohio, all we had to worry about was raccoon and deer. You come to Florida, <laughs> we got snakes, alligators. Uh, we got these little lizards that run around. We got lizards falling out of the tree in the wintertime. It's it's oh, off the chain down here. Gators, yeah, it's it's wow. gators. You go at what? Gators are the bigger. Gators, you got um or whatever. Oh my god. Poisonous snakes, poisonous fucking spiders and other crap. And yeah, no. What's that? Yeah. Like I said, if they talk about the Loch Ness monster, they talk about Bigfoot. Believe me, all the places they talk about, it's it's here. They just don't want to tell you. Because Florida has everything. <laughs> uh, they, they, everything. Including, including Ronda including Ron DeSantis. <laughs> And <laughs> and yeah. and maggot yeah. and maggots. Oh God, yeah, don't remind me. Um, <laughs> maggots. Yeah, That's it's, what I call it's them. Um, sorry, That's what I call them maggots. I I always call tell people I live in Gumbo, Florida, because Gumbo was like you just everything's in there, and it's Florida, it's everything you can think of. If you see it happen in some other state, I guarantee you it's happening in Florida also. 
That is just that's Dude. it's just that crazy here. Florida's um, insane. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a person. I, I stay. I'm if I'm not at home, I'm at work, or I'm on the stage. That's about it. Um, because it's it's just I don't know. To me, it's not like since the pandemic until now, things have just got way just out, way out of control. Um, mm. and I mean, it, it's just I'm not really in the you know in the politics. Um, but I've seen this this craziness. Um. I, I was actually talking to Tampa Bay Buccaneers to do a halftime show. I was trying to talk them into doing that. And I go meet with the girl, the marketing director, um, to ask, you know, about how could I do it, try to get her to convince her. And it's really hard to talk to somebody who's sitting there with a MAGA hat on. And I was like, okay, yeah. how do I, you know, because if this topic comes up, it's like, okay, I'm done. Because, like, that's not where I'm going with this. So it, right. it's just so many crazy things that 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 go on. It's just that's why a lot of stuff that I do, especially music wise, um, everybody always tell me like I'm constantly busy because I I do it myself. Right. Um, I just find ways to do it myself. Or um, um, Ko, she helped me a lot as far as advice, mm -hmm. um, yeah. especially with me trying to incorporate the music and doing movies and stuff like that. Um, yeah, she does. You, you gotta have a small good circle. Yes. Um because okay. it, it, it has been I have been from graduating and doing music, um, almost had a record deal as a producer. Almost. Um because oh. I graduated um in Pennsylvania and in a music a music uh, an audio production and nice. I had a guy um he did some music for him. He was going to get signed to Electra Records. Buster oh, okay. Rhymes was big at that time. Right. Um, and so, and, and I'm probably really dating myself now, but <laughs> we, were, we were on our way to New York the next day. He says the plane was set for him. That night he went with a, couple, uh, a bunch of kids. They robbed a 7-Eleven. He went to jail with them. Now, when you go to jail on Friday, you ain't getting out till Monday. Yeah. So yeah. our plane was set to leave Friday. So the label said, if you can't be here, then there's no deal. Aww. So I literally just missed it. having to deal by that much. Ugh. So it was like, it was, it was heartbreaking, but at the same time, it taught me a lot about this business. Um, Cause you can be here and gone in an instant. But um, all that to rob a freaking Seven Eleven or whatever, like yeah, this. What he was doing was sitting in the car. Oh, and man. then it's all it takes. It's all it fucking yeah. takes, dude. Yeah. That's all it so takes like for some cop to just be even be driving by and 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 being, oh, what's this going on here? Oh, yep. you know, racial so profiling. That, that, that was, yep. It was a different time back then too. It's totally different. So, it see, was probably now, my husband, who's in the other room right now, is a beautiful, bald headed black man like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Why know do what know? the fuck he's doing, but he's doing something. I don't know. That's the muse. We call him the muse. The muse. The muse. <laughs> That's where it's Jenny and the muse. <laughs> He's the cool one. Mm. Yeah. Everybody tell me I got a lot of patience because yeah. I have seen things in this industry that it's just it's trying to with me being old school, trying to teach the younger cats, and it's sometimes it's just like beating the wall. I want to be um, a mumble rapper. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't. You know, okay. you probably know. There, trap. And, and I don't really Tampa, like trap as much either. I like old school. Trap, I can't. Yeah. Fucking old school hip hop and rap and stuff. Like, come on now. And it's just weird because in Tampa, I'm in Tampa, Florida. There is a lot, a lot of talent. There really is, but okay. everybody is so mixed up with trying to be like everybody else who is already out there. Um, and I, I'll, I'll say this, um, because. As far as female rappers go, there ain't any that there ain't any really out there that impressed me, but the underground ones. 
Like there's a, a yeah. black rapper named Snow the Product. Um, there's another okay. one, Whitney Payton. Um, the ones yeah. that these mainstreams on TV don't impress me whatsoever because it's the same thing. Generic. It's all it's, generic. Yeah, it's all manufactured. Regurgitated. You know, Regurgitated. Yeah. That and it's just I just I can't I can't get into it. Um, it's I'm still cutter. stuck on. Yeah, I'm still stuck on the MC like the Queen Latifah, the yes. Morning Love, and Dude. You know, those are the ones. Yeah, you, you don't have to Missy Elliott, freaking Missy Elliott, exactly. Yeah. You don't have to show Peppa. your fucking salt and pepper. Just fucking there you, you go. Know the good so shit. Is that I, when I'm, you started uh, in that era? Is that when you started like the? Uh, LL Cool J, the uh, who else was back, big back then? Um, Run DMC, is that like? Oh, I love Run DMC. Part, part of where you were, like when Beastie you started. Boys, man. Um, it, it, it's funny you mentioned that. That exactly is when I <laughs> it started. Um, my first show was actually in Pennsylvania, and I was opening up at this place called the Graffiti, and I was opening okay. up for Run DMC when they were still together. Hey. Um. I was pumped up. Uh, I, I, I was in, I was still kind of green about doing the you know show performance, and I'll right. never forget. And to this day, I have the highest respect for them because I was backstage in the green room and I'm sitting there with my head down because I'm scared shitless because I'm okay. like, oh my god, these are the guys that I idol. Yeah. And I'll never forget. Run DMC, mainly Run, came up to me. He says, "Pick mm -hmm. your head up. This is your show. Go out there and own this show." He goes, "You're right. open up for me." He goes, "You show me what you got." And I looked at him like, yeah, it was like, kind of like a father figure kind of thing, and it, it, it made me feel, you know, they didn't have to do that; they was already huge. But for yeah. him to come back there and talk to me like that, that to that this day, it. they will always have my utmost respect. Um, and then it was, was early, three years later. That's cool. This was when, yeah, about mid mid nineties, about eighty nineties, kind of. Okay. Um, because right after that, I opened for LL Cool J. And this was when uh, the stadium in Pennsylvania was it used to be called Three Rivers. Now it's called some other name. But yeah, I've um, heard three, I yeah. opened up for him, and this was when he came out with "I'm Bad." This was when oh, that was that was huge, right. and I was still nervous. I get nervous at every show, but I was still nervous. I'm like LL, you know, and because I had I I got a big Dookie chain like he did, you know. But I didn't wear it because I'm like, no, I can't wear it because it's LL, you know. He, you know, that's oh, nice deal, you. you know, he kind of owns that. Yeah, so right. I'm backstage. I'm sitting in this green room tent because it's an outside concert. He comes in there, tango, no shirt on, full of oil up and sweat, and think like, oh, well, I like you, man, but you ain't gotta come back here looking like this, man. You're like, good <laughs> lord. Um, <laughs> but he came up. And he sat right next to me, and he says, "You open it for me." He says, "Yeah." I go, "What's your name?" I said, "Blackwell." I'll never forget this conversation the day I die. Then he says, you got to go out there. He says, you got to pump that crowd up for me. He says, you you my side man because you I need you to get them hyped up so you can do what you right. do. And I looked at him. I was like, okay. He was telling me about the business. He says, you know, how it'll eat you up. You got to do this and do that. And I said, all right. And went out and did my show. After the show, you know, he gave, gave me a handshake. And he was like, good job. And from that day, I always admired them because he, they didn't have to do that. They could care less about you. They did their show, made their money. But for yeah. him to come back, because it was like six other acts. So for him to come back to talk to me, you know, wow. and I was just like, wow. So um, awesome. people always ask me, you know, you like LL, you like Run DMC. I said, it's not just because of the music. It's because how they treated me back then. Right. That's because, awesome. you know, there was a point where I was ready just to just throw this in and just be a DJ. You know, I would just forget the oh, rap right. stuff. But they, they made me feel, you know, they made me feel good. So I always admire them. I always admire Rakim. Um, from yeah. Eric B and Rakim. Eric B and Rakim, yeah. Exactly. His style changed exactly what I wanted to do. Um, the man did a whole song about a curse word in it, and it was like a phenomenon. It right. was like the biggest thing ever. It changed everybody's rap style. Um, yeah. And yeah. then I got into like Heavy D and the Boys. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I did too. Almost like my idol. Yeah, they were good. good. It was because it was party music. It was hip hop. And that's what I kind of base what I do now. A lot of people tell me because, man, this might be old school, like Heavy D and stuff like that. Because 
when he played his music, it was it was a party. We had fun. There was no guns. There was no shooting. It right. was just it was just a good. party. So we party. I, I admire that, and I do have respect for like what they're doing, like the artists that are coming because hip hop revolves. It's mm -hmm. always changing, and yeah. I admire the artists of today that are doing stuff. And but the thing of I think the problem of it is they got to find a niche. I mean, I'm not saying you got to be like Digital Underground with the Humpty Hump and all that stuff. Oh, you I know, love I mean, that. That was a great. Yeah, that's sad that, that he's great because no one ever did that. That was that was great, but you got to find your own. And yeah. it's just like I hear a lot of good artists, but I'm like, okay, okay, you look like that rapper. You look like that rapper. And it, it's just it's it's really hard. And for me, I guess I know I'm in the hip hop very competitive. There's so if and buts yeah. about it. It's a competitive yes. form. And so I said, There's no way I'm you know, I'm thinking how we compete with these younger cats. So mm -hmm. a lot of them like what I do because it's about plus size limited, they don't really know how to tackle that because their version ends up being offensive to some women. And I found this out from what's going on going to their shows. And right. some of them was, you know, they're like, what is he talking about? Because that's kind of offensive. But they hear mine and they're like, well, you're just having fun. And most women listen to my what I do and they'll laugh because they're like, yeah. Did you just say what I thought you did? And, and they, they have fun with it. Because a real woman and, will laugh about it and have fun with it. They're not going to take it offensively. Right. You know what I mean? Like, what's up? What what kind of stick is up your ass that you have a problem with something like that? <laughs> like, I'm yeah. sorry, but like, you're trying to have fun. It's, it's you know, warm and inviting. It's not meant to be offensive or hurtful. You are you know what I mean? You're paying homage to beautiful big women, and there's nothing, and that's awesome because yeah. we well, we need you. we need uh, somebody singing our praises too sometimes. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it, it I isn't always about you about these scrawny bitches, okay? It wasn't it wasn't always easy. Trust me. Um, I think the <laughs> hardest part about doing this, doing the gender that the genre of music, I should say, that I picked to do. Mm -hmm. especially doing like music videos. And I did not realize this, how like I shot one video for a song I had called Thick Alicious. I mm -hmm. came up with the name just off the sky blue. I, I there was it. You know, one of those names I just said, and I made a song about it. So the girl awesome. that was in the video, she was cool, but she was also a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So we shot the video and a lot of people loved it, but it's like all the women who loved it, Came to me and was like, "Why didn't you put me in the video? Why did you have to use her? Why did you pick?" Are you me? Like, serious? Oh, that's oh the God. only kind of drawback. And then, Ooh. but the thing is, the girl that's in the video, it was her concept. <laughs> she exactly. Came up with so the idea. Yes, so that makes so sense. Was, She's in the video. So that makes we sense. We had fun making the video, but yeah. that's the only drawback I ever get. Sometimes <laughs> is if I'm shooting videos, and I don't think what they don't realize is. I don't pick and choose. I come up with an idea and yeah. I have a small team that works with me. And sometimes it's just us, the team that gets in these videos. We're not you yeah. know, picking and choosing anybody. Um, yeah. But I mean, it's sometimes it be, you know, but now that it's more social media oriented, where it's more like five, 10, 15, you know, 20 second videos and stuff. Right. Um, especially now that there's AI, because there is uh, another rapper who out in Vegas, I can't think of his name right now, who's been yeah. who's shot videos. We were talking one day, and he says, yeah, they got they got mad because, you know, hey, I put this girl up with that girl. He's like, Black Lord goes, all the videos, the women in my video, it's all AI. They're not even real. Really? And I was like, wow. Oh, wow. He said, no, they're real. He <laughs> says, what are they complaining about? I told him, I said, well, go to Google search, because that's where I found them. They're, they're JPEGs. And I put them on AI and I put them in a the video. <laughs> so, it's like, wow. so times have drastically changed. Drastically. Yes. Um, but I don't understand um, why anyone would get upset with it. It's create it's creative, it's creativity. And like you said, she had come up with the concept with it. But it's like if that if that's the only thing you're gonna get pissed off at in life, like take that shit down the street. And uh, something and my husband always says, pussy got ego. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, get over yourselves. Okay. He got a, a, a beautiful, <laughs> thick lady in the music video. And that's okay. We like okay. that. And so, I've been using, like we, I, like I said, it's times have changed and you have yeah. to change with it, especially if you're going to yeah, continue doing music general, uh, but especially in hip hop. Um, and with the AI that has come along, and it's just been, um, which the, the, the CD cover for Power Kid. And it, it was funny because everybody was asking my wife, they was like, did you know he got that girl on the cover and she's holding a piece of cheesecake and there's whipped cream dripping off of it and she's in this lingerie. And the funny part about it was she was the one that came up with it from AI. Wow. She came up with the idea. She found it as an AI and we put it together. That's awesome. And she, she laughs okay. because she's just like, oh yeah, sure. I, my, my wife's great. Love the Francesca. My wife was great because she'll she tells me she's like, Oh yeah, I know her. Yeah, she's a good friend of mine. I said, Why are you telling them that? She goes, They don't even know. Your wife sounds awesome. <laughs> she really yeah. does. That's good. You know, she, I'm glad I'm glad you she, have somebody. Who, I'm glad that you, you have somebody that you that you know you're in a you know in a good healthy relationship and you guys, you know what I mean? I make it you know, like she helps you with stuff and you guys work together and, and that's yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. It's very yeah. rare to find that. It's very rare to find that when you she's have... Great, I, I've recorded yeah. songs that she has told me, she's like, I'm thinking they're great. I was like, oh, yeah, this is a hit. She'll turn around and tell me, that sounds like shit. And I'm like, excuse me? Oh, uh, okay. Well, no, I, but, I do the hit yeah. But when yeah. I go listen to it later, yeah. I'm like, damn, she right. <laughs> I'm like, no, but that's wow, good. That's, that's, that's like good that she gives you feedback, but it's yeah, good that it she is. gives you feedback because if you don't have some kind of a feedback or somebody to bounce ideas off of, then, you know what I mean? And it's good that you, that you're like, she's a sounding board for you. You know what I mean? Like you can say like, okay, this is what I'm doing. And she'd be like, yeah, I, 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 that don't sound very good. <laughs> and then you're like, wait a minute, hold on. And then you go back and listen to it. That makes you a bet makes you better. You know what I mean? Right. It, it enhances right. you and what you're doing. So that's great that you have her. You know that she's you know helping you helps you with that type of stuff. Because that's great. That, that's that's rare. Yeah, she's, she she always she always worries when I'm alone and I'm doing music because she's like I don't know what's gonna come out of your mouth next on these songs. <laughs> she said, what are you thinking about? And because at first when I started <laughs> writing these songs, it was a cross between Comedy Central, um, going going to different clubs is where I would pick okay. up the metaphors and I would use them. And people was like, "Where do you come up with this stuff?" And it was just things I would hear would make me laugh. Right. And when <laughs> once I did Pound Cake. It was funny when I first told her, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a song with uh, Lily the Goddess, which she's a vocalist who has helped me on numerous songs. Very, very oh. talented. Um, That's good. Shout out to you, Lily. And That's good. I told her the name of the song. And she says, okay, you and Lily going to do the song. She goes, yeah. And she's heard you know, Lily's music. And she goes, all right, this is going to be great. What's it called? I said, Pound Cake. And she goes, what? I said, it's called Pound Cake. And she goes, uh, she was like, I'm just going to let you go record it. I'll listen to it later. She goes, like, God help me. And I said, no, it's going to be good. It's going to be all right. And, That's funny. Now, now, she'll sing, now she'll sing the hook every time I'm playing and she'll be like, she'll sing the hook part to it. And she says, oh, that's um, funny. we're working on a new song and um, it's called Curves. And she was like, oh, okay. And she was like, what's this good? What are you? I said, I don't know. I can only plan out, for me, I can only plan out a title. And then I just run with it for like weeks. Because different things will hit me. Different things I hear will hit me like uh -huh. vocally. Um, some people can just freestyle it. Me, I have to, it, I'm more of a perfectionist when, when it comes to music. Um, like when I go to the studio, I always tell her, no, you stay home. Because I like to get every single piece perfect. It's just it's just mm -hmm. me because with me being an older artist and yeah. basically a younger field, I want to get I want to make sure my production is tight. I want to make sure every part of the vocals right. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that I, I like to do. 
Um, yeah. But mm. as far as creative, that's because I have fun with it. I get creative with it. Um, right. And it was funny because I had an interview and it, it went, it just went south because I, I didn't know what was going on with it. So I told her, I said, mm-hmm. yeah, I have another interview. And she goes, you do? She goes, yeah. I goes, <laughs> as soon as I said this, she's like, "Oh, get your stuff ready then. Get you, get 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 ready. Get dressed. All right." Um, because KOs helped me immensely just just by helping me with interviews, advice. Um, Great. times where I was just like, "Oh, I can't do this no more." And she tell me, she's like, "Look, she goes, take a break, come back to it. Um, it, it happens." I, I've known rock mm-hmm. groups. I've known rappers, R and B singers. Yeah, you have those moments where it's like, I'm just yes. like, I can't do this no more. I know actors. I know actors, actresses, oh. uh, lots of people who have thought about walking away from what they do because of. I tell them like, look, there's competition in anything these days. Yeah. Do you do you know how many other people? probably do something like what I do, but I don't care. (laughs) It's not going to stop me from doing what I love, but a lot of these people also don't have the connections I have. So there's a difference. I have honed a freaking relationship of tons of people over a 12 year span of time. And I don't just do the, like, oh, I'm just the show. No, I'm the producer, the director. I'm the one that books the guests. I do, like, you know, I got Amy's booking guests now. We got uh, Shiler books guests. I've gotten, so now they get at the producer credit to their stuff. You know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? It's it's like, we, I, I came, I came up with the music for the show, for the intro and outro. I come up with, like, everything. And piece it all together. I even like, do you know how long it took just to make the intro video to do all that crap? That that's not imagine. easy. That takes I time. Like every little piece of every little thing, that little logo up in the corner, wicked mm-hmm. entertaining or whatever. That's yeah. me. I made that. Right. I came up with the name. I came up with the logo. Sometimes you gotta do everything yourself, like what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't just get handed to you. Not everybody's born with money. Not everybody has it like that. So sometimes you have to learn all the different things. I've done the editing. I've done the like all the different stuff. And sometimes it, it takes a while. But I also have relationships with artist managers, with uh, you know booking agents, with uh, you know I have huge. Psych, tons of people, but that's what you right. do. You have to build relationships. I have thousands of bands and artists from around the world that I have interviewed and I have worked with, or I've managed, or I've gotten them uh, press with other, you know, radio people. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I have a couple of people that I could, I could bring you to that could interview you. Uh, you know what I mean? So I have other contacts too, and right. so that's why. You know, a KO brought you to me also was because she knows that I also have like so she has her whole world and all her tons of contacts, and then I have right. my stuff. So it's kind of like bring it together. Why not? You know what I mean? No, It'll I, help I, to I, develop you better. And she's a, I she's amazing. Everybody. She's really good at what she does. She's amazing PR and all that stuff. She's a great actress. She does a lot. And oh yeah, because. That's a Believe good not, person. The reason why Asylum actually they um they didn't tell me this so after since it wasn't shooting the movie, but um they told me they said, Yeah, we've seen uh you was on uh, Hollywood Entertainment News. Yeah, I kind of looked at them, I was like yep. Wow, I said, Really? I said, Yeah, yeah. he said, and they said, Yeah, they're uh KO and I was like, Oh, okay. I said so I told her, I said did you know the asylum knows who you are? <laughs> I was like, wow, but because of she because of her making that post about me and yeah. on, on Hollywood Entertainment News, yeah. I, I got I got seen. So I mean I mean I, I'm forever grateful for everything she's done. I, I truly appreciate it. I should hook you up with Veronica Gonzalez too. She does uh hip hop and 
stuff like that. And she's got a TV show where she does the same type of stuff. And she also has a magazine that she could get you featured in. Oh wow! So okay. she's got so she's got publications and she's got her TV show and stuff like that. She does too, where she showcases people mostly mostly in like hip hop and and those realms. But she does other stuff oh, too. Okay. So and she'll be on the show in a couple of weeks. So I'll I'll uh, I'll put a oh, word cool. out to her and a couple other people. So well, it's always good to have as many too. avenues as possible. Um, I'm that person that I will hook you up with as many people as I can, whether I'm the uh, one managing you or I'm, I'm helping KO or whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I'm here to further people's, you know, per, further people's careers and help them. And, you know, and I don't do it for the money. I, I don't do it for any of that crap. I'm a poor bitch. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, but I just, I'm, I'm wealthy in friends. I'm wealthy in connections yeah. I'm wealthy and you know what I mean? So I'm that good person, that good Samaritan who wants to help. I don't really care about all that extra. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I try to build up, like you said, I, I try to build up because, like I said, this is, I have a love that, for hip hop. Yeah. It's not I mean, like that, I'm, I'm not here to make a, a million dollars and hey, I make yeah. money off of it. Sometimes I have, sometimes I pay my rent with it. But right. it's more, you know, I have a regular full time job, but this hip hop is, it was with me since I was 15 years old. It's just yeah. my love for hip hop. I said, yeah. I, I told my wife, I said, I might be in the wheelchair, maybe come to Kane, but I said, I'm still going to behind that DJ booth and do something. It's just my hey, love for hip hop. DJ Daddy um, Wheelchair in the hey, house. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to remember that. I can put all kinds of names. I try to teach that to some like young cats that would try to work with me. And it's just like, if you in this for the money, forget it. Because unless you unless you want to go behind the scenes and you want to work, I mean, but it's work. Sell it's your soul. All work. Sell I your soul. You, if you expect to get on the stage and get behind the mic and do sixteen bars and make a and make a million dollars off of that, it's not going to happen. I said, if mm -hmm. you don't believe me, look at Snoop Dogg. That man has got more avenues than I can count. The man that hosted the Olympics got a song yeah. out, got shoes, got series. He's a DJ. He's a freaking DJ. We saw him play at one of our shows. We got in for free because, you know, one of my buddies yeah. had a concert and he was doing, uh -huh. yeah, uh, DJ Snoopadelic. Uh, that did not go well. Yeah. Um, cool. Dude, no, he's amazing. I stood like 10 feet from the guy. Like, he was, he's super cool. But, like, the whole time, all he did was it was my buddy's soundboard. Like uh -huh. my buddy's DJ controller was one of my uh, my other guys and stuff, and he's all like figuring out where buttons were and started pushing things oh, and like looking at it like it's like he had old you know like he was old like like he needed glasses <laughs> or something. He's all like straining. Look, oh. I just loved it though. I just laughing is like, and the whole time he's just up there smoking blunts and shit. And you're like, <laughs> you're like, you're like, dude. They were they had all kind of weed vendors there, and they were handing out like joints to everybody in the crowd, just like free joints, passing them out. Wow. wow. Tell me why are you passing us free joints, and then we can't smoke? That's crazy. But, he, but, but Snoop is on stage smoking. So yeah, why Snoop can't the stage. rest of us smoke, damn it? And then we went outside to the smoking area. They're like, no, sorry, that's weed. You can't smoke that out here. You have to go back inside. But I can't smoke in, in, inside either. You people suck. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I, I did a show for Afro Man. And yeah. this was this was in the high uh yeah, it was in Ohio. I did a show opening up for Afro Man. Now Afro Man, oh, all he does that cool. is smoke. That's yes. Point, I mean, constant. There is no putting it like in a hug. That's all he does. Yeah. Yeah. One, one of the greatest entertainers I've ever met. Yeah. And it was funny because he, I went to open for him. He didn't know me from Adam, and he came over the stage and he goes, "Black Wow." He goes, "That's your name." I said, "Yeah." He goes. 
that was some good shit. I didn't know if he met me or the blunt he had because he was, you know, he was like, oh, <laughs> oh. so oh. I was like, oh, you no, know, thank you. And he, he took a picture with me and he's like, all right. He goes, you want me to remember you? I said, yeah, how? He goes, he passes me this blunt. I said, I don't, I got nothing against it. I said, I don't smoke. And so he goes, okay, no, he goes, hold on a second. So he put two blunts in his mouth. Time I got done sitting taking pictures with him, I could eat up all Pizza Hut. I was so hungry. I was like, Lord of mercy, this man got me so hot. He was, he was the greatest. But the thing, the funny part is that we were, you know, indoors, people were smoking away. But as soon as you stepped outside, they was like, no, no, you can't come out here. I'm like, this is Afro Man. Smoke inside. That's all he does. He <laughs> he walked to his trailer smoking. I'm like, <laughs> but I'm not I'm like how am I in California yeah, was, at a Snoop Dogg event and I can't smoke? What is up with this? This is just wrong. Seriously. I'm in California. Where's hey. legal? Anyway. Um, okay, so I want to play some music. Um, so okay, so first I'm gonna I wanna play the the commercial, the the little thing that you did for the for Coke, because that's gonna be fun. But then uh, we'll play some music too. So, like, so a couple of your music videos, and then did you uh, did you say you did an actual music video for Pound Cake or no? Or we can play it no, off yeah. Spotify. Yeah, no, okay. So I can play that off of Spotify if you if you want, unless you have like okay. that whole thing, you know, where it's a still, you know, on on YouTube. Um, all right. So I have your page pulled up. And so we're going to play a couple things. This is going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> I, dude, your music's awesome. I was listening to that Thank stuff. Yeah. I, I was having a good time. Hell yeah, I was having Thank a good time. So yeah, I was too. Heck yeah. All right, so we'll put you in the waiting area. We're going to go play some awesome music. And then okay. I'm going to be right back. So give me a second here. We're going to go have some fun. Woo! <laughs> Party! Woo! <laughs> I have too much fun at my job. All right, hold on. <laughs> We're going to play some hip hop. Hold on. All right. We're going to share our screen, Jennifer. Share the screen. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. We're going to go here. So much young, you can't see me. You got the case, so set me free. Best decision that you'll ever make. So come along for goodness sake. We'll be making good, no need to break. Come get you some this I love how every ounce of you that shake. When I step past you, to put my foot on break. With all that pound game, so damn intoxicating to me. Get me strawberries, whipped cream, plus size. Get the weather, be my stormy Daniels. 
get it lit like a candle. Others can't last this. Got me adding you to my to-do list. That sickness. Going to send me a court. Juicy dick thighs. Looking like child support. Of course, a freak in the bed. A hustler in the streets. So respect. A grinding straight elite. You feel me? That these curves won't quit. I got money for bail. Cause you murder every outfit. No bullshit. The noises we make. The curves on my dinner plate. They a snack. You a whole dinner. A time to get loose. I'll be the scissors. They got IG pictures. And I'm looking at the real. Did I mention I'm mad attention with that sex appeal? That sickness. My preference. Beauty was a crime. And you would serve a life sentence. Can I get a witness? Can, can I just say, holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you. Just the lyrics. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I, I was... Dude, I was cracking up the whole damn time. <laughs> I could not get that laughing. Stormy Daniels. Child support. How many awesome things can be put into one song? There was so many, so many things from the beginning to end. I was just like, this is. And you believe I got a Twitter message from her. And I, I first I got kind of scared. And I guess I was like, because you know, there's so many fake things on Twitter. And all she, she said on Twitter, and she says, I love the line in, in Pound Cake. And yes. I was like, oh my God. So I had to research to make sure it was actually her. And I was like, Oh wow! Okay. It was really her. It was really her, and I Dude. just said thank you. Wow. I didn't know what else to say. I was like, I, I, and it was just one of those things where it was the funny part of that line was I was writing that and that issue with her and um, yeah, the old guy, yeah. Trump, orange um, face gremlin, yeah. The that issue it was on TV on the news, and I was sitting, and it was raining. And I'm no lie, it was raining. And I was sitting, I was like, forget the weather. And I walked, I happened to look up at the TV and I'm like, and that's where that line came from. And <laughs> I, I just put it together. It was one of those things. And I had a couple of people ask me, where the heck did you get that from? It's just, that's just how I write. It's just, I just, things I just combine together. The line about the child support, believe it or not, a brother had told, a brother had said that to me at a club one night. He said, the girl, he goes, Man, she's sick. Like she goes, she gonna cause me to have child support, and I swear that it clicked in, and I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna use that. Um, <laughs> the first time I did it, and I was like, oh, I get it now. Okay, um, but I mean, it, it's just I catch it just as how I create. It's just one of those things where I just catch things that, that and just kind of twist them, make them funny, and. Because like I said, writing that song literally took me two weeks because I wanted something catchy, something where, where people would laugh. And it was funny because that yeah. stormy weather uh, part, the, my engineer, KC and Boom Boom Room Studios, I'm up in Largo, yeah. Florida. I give them mad props because they really put that together good for me. They threw the thunder and the lightning and behind it. And I was like, yeah. this is, oh, when you say stormy weather, I got something for you. And every time I performed that song, everybody cracks up laughing. It was just like, <laughs> I said, okay. But like I said, that's hip hop. Having fun with it. it, it that, that's hip hop. 
that's what it should be. We put it that way. Yes. Um, right. Well, I love your style and I love your, your music. I love it a lot. Thank you for thank that. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate you. it. Like I, said, I, think I, just, we should play, I think we should play one or two more. What? Which ones would you want to play besides that? That That's um, like, if you, all the rest of your stuff is anything like that, like, holy crap. I have a song called Sickalicious. Oh, oh, right. Okay, got you. Let's play that all one. All right. Yeah, Hold yeah. on. Will that be on your Spotify or your YouTube? They're on both. On? They're on both? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Uh, let's go find it. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm looking. I have the live performance of Thickalicious. Do you want to do that like you did with the other one? Uh, that was not as clear. <laughs> okay, got you. Let's see. I'm looking for it. Hold on. You may see one that says Thickalicious Bounce Mix on Spotify. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I can pull it up. I was like, let's pull it up here. I see Curvalicious or hold on. Oh, that I see it right there. Now it's fixed. I found that. Okay, I got you. Well, we'll, we'll, hey, let's, let's just, yeah, let's just play both of those. Hell with it. Um, okay. Anything that says delicious. <laughs> All right. We're going to play some more music. You're going back in the waiting area. You've been a bad man. Just kidding. Okay. Being funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's like, oh, I agree with you. Okay. <laughs> I tell sure. people all the time, if I'm not messing with you, it means I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> New England humor. Um, all right. We'll be right back. We're going to play some, some licious songs. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hell yeah. All right. Here we go. So. We're going to go share a screen. Okay. Here we go. Here. All right. We're going to go. Black whale, black nation, you still hating? Aha, for the grown and sexy, for the plus size ladies, for the curvy thick ladies, this one's for you. I'm not stalking you, I'm doing research. When those curves cats wanna get their feelings hurt, I put in work so I see what's on the menu. Just me, just you, this comes through. You know the reason I'm wearing the smile you gave me. Eating this delicious, I wanna taste, baby. The reality, let's do more than just kicking it. Kisses burn six calories a minute, so shorty, let's get it. Just When my phone don't have your number in it like a new whip You come well quick, no bullshit I'm about that plus size flex On a scale once America, I'm free to you tonight Forget Disneyland, you're my happiest place on earth Hell with R. Kelly, I know a woman Love these brothers who they hurt, but that ain't me So it's delicious, voluptuous I want the recipe, give it to X and sexy And sure that I need a pick, have you instantly Like turning on Netflix, that's real shit That's collaborate tonight And Superman will block those curves On my kryptonite, I'm so right Bring that bigger flag my way If those tips were on you, we connected all day All I say, I love that big figure And you don't need no Instagram or Snapchat filters Just some about you, make you rock me fantasize Just some about you, make you hold and hypnotize Just some about you, it's me, you just get the hell out of the Just some about you, see, keep looking my way Type of thickness and I wanna feel it. 
I can't resist. It's like you got telekinesis, making parts of me rock without touching it. No curvy hips, straight up, I'm hooked. A dude's juicy lips taste as good as they look. You got me shook, keep it 100. I'm mad into it, I just need your name. Add it to my favorites. Call me Rain, cause I'm about to bring the wetness. Damn good, you blessed. I see them all hating. I got the D train if you need that transportation. Just saying, all you get is these comedians. I do a big DSL. They small like a medium. You don't need them. You need a demonstration. My mind ain't dirty. Just a sex imagination. That's my explanation. Show Shorty what's next. On the bedroom floor, a great spot for that dress. Just something about you. Thank you. Black whale, black nation, do I got you hating? There's no more debating, for my plus size ladies, for my curvy ladies, for my thick thick ladies, this one's for you, Lily talk to me. I can see you watching me, watching me, tell me do I got what you, tell me do I got what you. Petition, you divide, we multiply Juicy dick dot, shorty, you the sweetest vibe You ain't shy, I see you acting all brand new Come bounce over my way, that's the move Forget breaking rules, let's break a sweat If I slide up in your DM, things are going to get wet Lift all that pound cake, you bless, so let's work I can make dinner, and tonight you be a dessert Put it work like cardio, and let's kick it You murder every outfit, you rock, no bullshit I'm well equipped to break your bed, not your heart Let the girls out and let the show start I'm painting nails, painting too, yeah, that's my shit that thickness is the new hotness All curves, no breaks, you got me out of tension Make the ass clap like a standing ovation Let's get it I can see you watching me Watching me Tell me do I got what you Tell me do I got what you need Before we proceed Please understand Please understand Give me that first sign They can see this brother in my plus size zone me meat and taters and throw out the bones Let my hands roam like braille to a blind man I'm greedy, feed the needy is my game plan Understand, I'm all about the curves and thighs Got me on my Johnny Gill, singing my, my, my Wait, I'm cats, goodbye, step my way I ain't starting beef, but I'll take all that USDA Call me Cray Cray, I wanna get with ya We get nasty, cause I know you're naughty by nature I ain't mad at you, nothing on your fate Let it be my birthday, cause I want all that cake The noises we make, give neighbors something to say Thicker than a novel when I'm Reading every page, yes. they wanna throw shade. Don't even start the trip. I don't wanna fend if I ask you want a skinny dip. It's about to be cup season right now. I gave me a reason. Go ahead, shorty, and be my savage. You know, good things don't come in a small package. Get in the baggage, but we got this. The way you talk, got a brother sprung, licking those lips. I just wanna give all of it and pull you close. Take a picture. Now you got a new IG post. I can see you watching me.
I let the girls come on Cause I'm going down rap you a trip They make pictures shit to bring a deck of Disney flip Go on now you flip Do a new position I like Star Trek About to end a new dimension So listen I'm the Dow Chocolate A real man I'm in your mouth Bring the girl not in your hands The game plan To make all your curves sweat Like the Ruben 2 The more you play the harder it gets Start to see a theme. <laughs> I like that. That was good. Thank you. I had to do Thank a three back. Sorry, that. that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know. I, I. It's funny because um, I, I did a DVW party. It was like one of these oh. pool party kind of things or whatever. Nice. And this was when I was in Ohio. And they had another artist that was doing... He, it was for some reason, he won. He, I guess he was going to compete with me. Did not know the guy. Never heard this music. And he what? was like, oh, well, all of a sudden, he's a, you know, he's a rapper. He called himself the best BBW rapper or some craziness. So, I, you know, I let him go on do his thing. You know, I said, okay, well, you know, I'm not going to hold anybody. That's, that's what his thing is. But he went <laughs> up there and performed. And they're all like, what was that? So I went on stage, and I did that song, Curvilicious. And I did that, and I did the song Sick Delicious, and they went bananas. They was going crazy. Um, it kind of, I was kind of glad and was scared at the same time because I didn't know what the reaction would be. Because after seeing him, I was like, "How are they going to accept me?" Um, but they really liked it. And then it was funny because he came up to me and he was like, "Oh man, you did a good job, man." He says, "Oh, he says I know I was your competition," and I'm sort of thinking, "No, you wasn't." I said, "Who well, are you?" Know? And, and, and mind you, I, little ego did kick in, and I was like, "No, he wasn't, bro." I said, "I had three, I had three hip hop dancers that were plus size women, a vocalist, and me. You got behind a mic in a suit, a tux, basically, and tried to sing and rap with this music that, like, I think my three year old granddaughter made up. I'm thinking, like, <laughs> you were garbage, and." You know, like I said, that was the ego kicking in there. But I mean, it, it felt it was just one of those things that kind of hit me, like competition. You know, um, Malibu's I, I most wanted. He's Malibu's most wanted. Just, I, there you go. That's you said it right there. That's the best way I can describe it. Because I had no attention. I, I like I said, I didn't know the guy, and it was funny because the lady who was at the head of the show, she came back and to talk to us. And she came back, paid us for the show. So I was like, all right, you know, that's cool. And she goes, well, I want you to come back. And so I can't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. And she, she was like, oh, so we both coming back? She goes, oh, no, just Blackwell. And she walked <laughs> away. And he like, gave me the dirty work and walked away. And I just stood there. I'm like, all right, then. I said, welcome to the, welcome to the rap game, Blackwell. I said, all right, then. But like I said, it was... Nice. It wasn't about and like I don't know hip hop is a you know it's a competitive basically a competitive sport, right? But the fact of him coming up to me and considering me a comp competition, I wasn't there to compete. That was the first thing on my mind. My biggest right. worry is how they going to accept my music. Right. And when he got up there, and he did what he did. Um, because a lot a lot of them were like, oh, I know you got to be better than him. I, I wasn't I wasn't hating on him. I said, oh, just, just give him a shot. You know, let, let, let him do what he do. And then when he came up to me with that, oh, he goes, I, I was your competition. That's when my ego, it just kicked in. I could not help it. And I looked at him thinking, like, you are far from my competition, bro. <laughs> 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 but, let me get up here and present some pound cake for you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, that's one of those rare, rare. Instance, but um, like I said, the whole 
the whole BBW plus that thing. It all started from a from a party. I did a song way back. It's called I Want a BBW. And I performed it. They liked it. And I was like, okay. And like I said, I kept hearing music that was coming out. I was like, I can't really compete with this because even though it's about having cars and having money, it's it was a trend. Kids were liking it. So I said, I got to go a complete different direction. So yeah. when I when I seen that, I said, well, I like plus size women. I got a plus size wife. I know yeah. about the life. There you, you go. Know? Yeah. And so I just went to that direction. And I mean, I have fun with it. And it's funny because the perception of social media now is so is so distorted. It's funny because my family will see what I do on Facebook. Oh, you guys must be living it up here, rich, and you guys are living on it. I still work nine to five. She still works yeah. nine to five. We still yeah. get. I got to pay my electric bill tomorrow. <laughs> we still Andy, Andy and right. I, same thing. We both yeah. work ain't, ain't nine to fives. Right? Ain't nothing changed. You know, I said, I do this because I love hip hop. I yes. said, but it, it's amazing how social media will, it, 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 it'll just flip it. it it'll, um, for example, I work with Brooke Hogan on a remix song. Okay. This, this, is, this will really show you. And this was also my first experience with paparazzi. Um, I worked at a nature food store. It's a organic store. And yeah. her and Hulk they used to come there frequently. I used to see Hulk Hogan there all the time, every Wednesday. And Sorry. My, and Brooke <laughs> Hogan came up to me. And now the whole kicker of this is, is that my wife introduced me to Brooke. And oh, so okay. I, I was done with my shift. I went outside. We were sitting at a table, and I was talking to her about doing the remix of her song. She goes, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's cool. Send it to me. Now, right. believe it or not, half the employees went back. Your your husband out there getting with Brooke Hogan. They had the table. They eating, and, and I was uh, like, and she goes, no, "I hope so, because that's where I set up to go." business. <laughs> and then the the kicker of it was was there was a little mm -hmm. local magazine they have down here that does like music and entertainment. Mm -hmm. They actually had a picture of us in the magazine. And oh wow! Just, uh, and it was like. Brooke Hogan working with new rapper um, could be could not be boyfriend and all this other junk and I'm like that's so stupid no, no, I, like said, dude, no. I had a, I had a green smoothie that I didn't like that I tried and she was sitting with a cup of coffee the conversation lasted not even five minutes I said can mm -hmm. I do a remix yeah sure what's your email here's my email all right I'll talk to you great to meet you great to meet you too that's it. Yeah, that's that's the nature of the beast. Unfortunately, people see yeah, things that were crazy, in there. right? And I everybody mean, was like, "Oh, yeah. you, should, you know, because oh, you should, you know, hey, I you know, like live it up." And I said, "No," because it was kind of scary. Because it was like it wasn't even about that. Yeah, and that's funny. Right. My wife, she was. I said, I "Wasn't even met her except my wife was the one that introduced me to her. Right. She was the one that set it all up." I was like. This is crazy. I said, okay, this is what this business is. So Yeah, um, you're nuts. I, I know this is like with the Coke commercial. I, I, I put the we did the commercial. It's got a lot of views. I'm happy. Um, you know, I'm glad people like it. And yeah, I've had rappers come up to me and they're like, Oh man, since you in that Coke commercial, I think one guy thought he saw me at the Super Bowl commercial. I've never been in a Super Bowl commercial, which was <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, it just blew up all kinds. So that's great. I, I've, I've learned well, how social good. media works. I mean, I, I, yeah. I like some people tell me just run with it. Just, just run with it because that's yeah. that's just like you said. It's the nature of the beast. They are gonna see it you is. do something, <clears throat> and the, you know they go. And I mean, I was like, if we even thought me and Lily said, you know, you know what, we should find a a bakery and see if we can do a a commercial. And have some pound cake and see, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just it's from from the TikTok and the Instagram. I'm still learning about all these sites because they're constantly yeah. changing something. Um, yeah, reels, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter Do reels. Uh, yeah, Instagram and Facebook reels, and then also the TikTok. Those are the three big ones. Uh, are, Snapchat yep. to an extent. 
Snapchat, lots of people still are on there. You can do marketing stuff on there as well. Yeah. Um, there's certain ones like that I would stick with. Twitch. Mm, yeah. I have a Twitch. Twitter, I have, I we have our own Twitch channel, but it, it doesn't Twitch. do oh, as oh. well. It doesn't do as well as the as the YouTube stuff, to be honest with you. Oh, really? Oh, but, yeah. but that's the same common misconception, even with like the all the stuff that I do. You know, you'll see me one week. I'm on the red carpet at a at a movie premiere, and then the next week I could be hosting my own concert or attending someone else's concert, providing media coverage, or I could be doing an interview backstage at the Whiskey a Go Go, like upstairs in the the rooms where nobody can go other than special people. You know, what I mean, like yeah. the artists and and people like me who are you know media that get invited by these bands to come right. and do interviews backstage and shit. You know what I mean? But like, but when people see all of this and they automatically think, oh, she's living it up. She's making tons of money. She's like, look at her. She's famous and stuff. And then all the time, you know, my husband and I were living in, an, in a homeless shelter. Uh -huh. or living in an RV on the side of the fucking road in South Central California. Watts. Like, bad yeah. area. You know what I'm saying? Toughing it out, thugging it out with our cat. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm hosting three, four concerts a week. I'm on the T I'm doing the TV and radio, and I'm doing, like, all these things, and I do artist management. I do all this stuff. Tons and tons of stuff. Meanwhile, being homeless. That's why I said it's 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 the image you project. Right. If people don't know what's going on, do they really need to know? No. Yeah. It's no. all an That's illusion. True. People no. see that this is what I'm saying. I can make you think, oh my God, I have this. I mean, I have you have an amazing life comparatively to like a lot of people that I know, like here in Maine. I'm a celebrity because people here are fucking boring. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I <laughs> no, but it's just like basic life here. It's not like it's not Los right. Angeles. Do you know what I mean? I agree. It's not, I agree it's not with that, LA. LA it's is a, totally different. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the illusion. Different. It's the illusion yeah, it's that you the illusion. out there. I mean, one picture yeah. with one person and you can suddenly blow up virally and rumors yeah. start. And oh my gosh. Oh, you, mean, you mean like that time that someone took a picture with me and Ron Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah. know, that. I was thinking more. I about actually, it. no, I actually, he used to come to my concerts in, out in LA. Okay. Ron wow. Jeremy. Yeah, dude, he'd show up in his Crocs and sweatpants and a ratty T-shirt, and yeah. his hair dye. And oh uh, boy, but it was—it's it's the illusion. If, if that's the case, I've been molested by Ron Jeremy. Okay, um, <laughs> I mean, he's put his head on my chest, the little five five foot six hairy man, and he looked up at me and he said, "Oh, the pretty lady with the big boobs. I like you." Wow. <sighs> so that's my fun story with Ron Jeremy. Um, and, <laughs> I have a different fun story with Ron Jeremy. That. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we all have our fucked up stories. <laughs> Partying with Andy Dick. Partying with celebrities can be quite interesting. When you walk oh, backstage, yeah. when you walk backstage in a, in a venue, and Andy Dick is sitting on the floor with his assistant. And the first time you ever meet him, and he looks up and he says, Hey, you got any cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I hell? really believe that? I really believe that. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've worked with some I've worked with some of the biggest freaking celebrities out there. I'm friends with a lot wow. of celebrities, but it doesn't make me any less living in an apartment. It doesn't make me any mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm hanging out with Orgy, like getting in for free to five million concerts a year, and I'm homeless. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? 
Yeah, I, I, like I said, with the social media, especially sometimes my family, they, they get that mis, misconception. Yes. And it's like, oh, well, you're, you're doing this. And you <clears throat> like, like the Coke commercial was for one. And no, and that's wonderful. They, they don't understand. I, I'm great that they gave me permission to do it, that they're trying to work out something for it to, you know, to, to go viral. But I didn't it get was paid really good. millions of dollars yeah. off of it. They love the commercial. Yeah. They're trying yeah. to push it. But I said it's it's not like you know it's not like a football player getting signed three or four million. I get a thank you yeah. and let's work on a deal. That's 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 what you get. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But I like like you said, it, it's follow the illusion and just 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 let it let it ride. I've always told. Yeah, you just have that, fun with it. Because that, it can take you to so many amazing places, Michael. It really can yeah. if you oh, just yeah. if you just let it. It, but you gotta you gotta go with the right people, like people like me or Ko or Amy or certain people like us. We're the good avenue to go. Do oh you know yeah, I mean? definitely. Because we have your best interest at heart. Yes. A lot of these other people, like we're, I'm not gonna sit here like, oh, I got my hand out for money. I don't do that crap. Okay. I don't. Any concert, Amy's played a bunch of my concerts. I was her manager for her yeah. band. That's what yeah. I'm oh, saying. Okay. Like, and did I ever ask for any fucking money? I didn't ask no. Jack shit. Never did pay to play. Never. Yeah, I, 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 I've done that. The fucking door, I'd give you some money. Yeah. I, I, I'd give you something. You get half of every ticket sale. Yeah. yeah that, that's a big issue here in Florida. Um, and there, there's a lot of that. When it, I don't like pay to play. It's I, I, I don't like it. It's it's a sh- straight off slap in the face, to be honest with you. It um, is. And, then, and there's, I mean, there's, there's rappers down here that will do it because it gives them that illusion that something is going to happen. And right. when you're paying two, three hundred just to be in a show, and it, it's like they just don't understand. And no, and they hit me up constantly, and I have to tell them, no, I'm not interested because oh, um, right. I'm not going to mention so a company, it. but there's one big company out there that does it <laughs> frequently. And, and, right. and they do it with the rapper, they do it with rock groups. And yeah. oh, you sell these many tickets, and then you can perform, and then you make this much money and this percent. That, that's okay. My, uh, apparently, I'm not good enough, and you need someone to be a cash cow. And I'm, oh, like, so, I'm good on that. So my, so, my son says hello. No, oh, hey, what's up? He's, he's, he's actually a hip hop artist himself. Oh, cool. He's actually really good, especially uh, uh, like re- writing lyrics. Um, he says to say hello. Uh, he'd probably oh, like okay. to collaborate. Yep. But yeah, yeah. He loves. He's a, love yeah. and he does like more of the old school stuff. Oh, and he forgot. He said, "Don't forget <laughs> about the time that I smoked a joint with Woody Harrelson." I forgot about that. <laughs> yes, thank you for reminding me about that one. That's cool. Dude, that was fun. He was. He was. Cut. He was all oh, nice to me. <laughs> he was high I as fuck. I laughed so hard. I met his brother Brett. His brother, I walked up, and his brother looks just like him. A little shorter, but looks just like him. And so, like, I know I knew he was a relative. I didn't know if it was like a brother or cousin or what, but like you could tell that that was they were related. And his brother's an actor too. So I was just like, uh, he says, Oh, hey, do you want to meet? Do you want to meet my brother Harry and my brother uh, Woody? Do you want my my Woody? Yeah, do you want to meet him? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> Who the hell don't want to meet freaking Woody Harrelson? I mean, come on, <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You can have amazing experiences if you just mm-hmm. let it. If you just let it take you where you need to go. Right. But even when that whole incident happened with Brooke, it was funny because. I did actually, I was talking to her on Twitter about it, and she said the same thing. She was just like, you know what? She says, just let it ride. Yeah. Let, let it ride. And the ironic part is, we let it ride, and the song had 14,000 views on uh, and on SoundCloud. She says, let's let it ride. Let, let them believe whatever. And yeah. You know, she was, oh, yeah. At that, at that point, she was kind of pretty done with the music business, but she was just like, that, that kind of thing, just, just, just let it go, because she says, no matter what you do, you know, it, it, it's good. And it's for this is when I was telling my friends and everybody about being on the, on the show, on your show today, I said, I got interviews on. 
Get Real Global TV. I said, I was listening to all the places it was. So they're like, this is the only part they heard. They said, you going to be on TV? Like, 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 I was on Hulu. Is it gonna... I said, Get Real Global TV. I said, I said well, we nothing do. about Hulu. I said, we do have our own TV channel, but I wouldn't say it's nothing that big. It'd be nice. It's, it's, it's just funny. Ooh, that's like the it. only part they heard was TV. <laughs> Oh my, oh my lord! I mean, it is, we, we do have our own TV station. We have our own. We have our own radio station. Our own TV channel. We have our own everything. You know what I mean? And we have our I'm own. We're on iHeart. Yeah, and we're with iHeart Radio. We're with Sony Music Entertainment. So you can say that you've been on something that Sony ha does. You know what I mean? We're we're right. with Rock Rage Radio. Uh, we're with a bunch of different you know outlets. So really it's, cool. it, we're on Spotify, we're on, we're everywhere. You know what I mean? So like it, it took a lot of years to freaking get to that point to where we are. You know what I mean? And I've rebranded. Right. I had a whole nother show out on the yeah. West coast called Jenny's yeah. real talk on the block. That was on for five years. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. And I've had artists from all around the world on that show. Yeah. And I don't just do music. I do like um, authors um, actors, uh, burlesque performers, freak show performers. Um, I've had people from WWE on our show. Um, we were the official oh. press for the movie Creed 2 with uh, oh, Michael yeah. B. Jordan. Um, I interviewed, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, damn it. His coach, the guy who uh, was his coach. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Um, anyway, oh, cool. he has his own show with, with, uh, with Khloe uh, Kardashian. He has a show. This guy has a show with her. Um, anyway, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. But I, I worked with him. Um, I think great. he was Michael B. Jordan's uh, as, you know, fitness coach or whatever. Like it was, I don't know. It's really um, some really good people I've met over the years. So many, and you, and you know, we, and then on like, uh, like I said, I'd like to try to get you hooked up with some of these people. No, thank you. I oh, here we go. You. Somebody says. You have to believe in your dreams and aspects in life, no matter what, good and bad, at most, not most points. Yeah, as I'm saying, just have fun with it. Just, just you know, stay positive. Don't let it, you know, don't let this to get to you. Just be unique, oh, like yeah. you said. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? You got a good sound, a good look. Uh, yes. You got a good, and you have a niche. You have like, you know what I mean? You're not all yes. over the place. You're, you're, you know what I mean? You have a path. And that's right. good because not all artists have that. So if you find your niche where you belong, like you did, keep going with what you're going. Oh, well, thank you. I guess my son said he had a 59,000 views on one of his songs. That's really good, actually. That's great. To be honest with you. The muse said, call Kalin yeah. Caliente? Cali Cali Caliente. Caliente? What are you trying to say? My, that's hey, my hey. son. I don't know. <laughs> that's my husband, the muse. <laughs> He's piping in, say hello. <laughs> well, now we actually got people paying attention, and it's like after 10 p.m. Anyway. Right. Right. First, gotta, yeah. I tell people, look, just go with the flow with this show because you never know how long it's going to how long it's gonna last. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we're on here for two hours, sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's an hour and a half. We just go with the flow and have fun. Right. Hey, no and, with that. You know, basically when I see the guest starts yawning, then it's time to go. Okay. <laughs> it's only eight o'clock no, here. I'm, I'm off tomorrow. I'm yawning. So. Well she's okay. she's on she's on the West Coast because she's out yeah. in California. Oh, okay. So, okay. And then Shiler's in California. Oh yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yes, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael B. Jordan's trainer. Yes, thank you. The husband, Corey. Uh, I know what he's talking about. Anyway, I'll think of it in a minute. Yeah, he he was telling me he was trying to remind me who it was. Yes, it was Michael B. Jordan's trainer for Creed Two. Yes, I forget. the The husband was the uh, co-host uh, for five years on my other show. <laughs> Oh, okay. That was a fun show, Jenny. I'm then remember we had then remember we had silent giggles in the corner. Yes. Oh God, that was hilarious. 
My friend Tashina, we call her Light Bright. <laughs> <laughs> she just sat in the corner. Well, guys, like she, at the she's, camera she's, angle and everything yeah, that happened, she would just um, sit there and laugh. You could see her. <laughs> I, I was say she's uh, light skinned, light skinned black, right? Uh, real pretty. Uh, but I call her my lesbian. Get it? <laughs> I she's, know black that. she, she's black and she's a lesbian. She's my lesbian. Anyway, so uh -huh. shout out to the lesbian. We miss you, <laughs> motherfucker. We miss you. I love you. <laughs> Dude, she's one of the most badass. She was <laughs> her and this other chick were two of our groomsmen <laughs> in our wedding. <laughs> That's cool. How many people can say they had two they had two two lesbians marching down the aisle with them? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's how I roll. <laughs> oh, I love you. I we call her silent giggles because she'd literally just sit in the corner and just like giggle silently. She'd just sit there and go. <laughs> yeah, you can see her. <laughs> so my old co-host would call her silent giggles, the one before the muse. <laughs> Dave. Shout out to Dave, Nav the other Dave Navarro. I miss we him. Have your Dave Navarro. The, remember <laughs> the other Dave Navarro. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have too much fun on this show. That's that's the whole point, though, is to have a good time. Exactly. Uh, I've had a blast. Thank you guys mm -hmm. for having me. Very much. Not a problem. We had a great time, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh please, you're doing, you so you're doing a really good job, and and I really really Thank like you your both. music. And so apparently, apparently, my son uh, is looking to collaborate. So I don't know. Sure, I'd love um, to. I'll, I'll send him your way and see if it's up your alley or whatever. <laughs> he's he's actually a really good lyricist. Um, he's gotten really better on his flow and stuff like that. So he just got told him just keep working on what you're on what you're doing. You know what I mean? Just don't uh, stop. Just, just keep going. Exactly. It's, hard. just, it's harder to market. People, yeah. Well, I always tell people that um, if you look at as much controversy as this man caused, if you look at Eminem, you know, so minus the fact that he's a white rapper, if you yeah. if you really look at some of his interviews, he said the one thing that I haven't heard from any rapper that was coming up in this game was that he studied other rappers. Not yeah. that he said, oh, I wanted to be like him, or he studied him. Now, for that man to say that he studied rappers and doing what he does, I give him all the respect in the world, whether he was white, black, or whatever. Yeah. But for you to say that you you know study, that means this was this was an art form in the craft that yeah. you said and tried to perfect. So that's why everybody says, oh, well, he, you know, he says this and he says that. Um, if you look deeper into it, the man studied hip hop and he took it and ran with it. Yeah, and he's and he, really he's good. A fucking genius. I yes, mean, he is. He, I mean, he, he's he, amazing. How he marked this. So I mean, I get because they're all and I know with nowadays, especially in hip hop, they always look at that black white factor. To me, it's I bars. It's, um, I don't it's care music. who you are. It's, it's bars. It's music. It's if you're good. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I, I listen to Snow the Product. It's yeah. some of it's Spanish. I don't know Spanish, but I will say and learn that because her music it, it's good. I really yeah. like what she does. It is underground, unfortunately, because right. she's got some really good music. I listen. I just recently listened to it was a girl. Her name was Whitney Payton. Um, mm -hmm. never heard of her before. Seen her on our Instagram. And right. little street boutique, little, little white girl, but my her, right. her the way she's the rhyme she has is unbelievable. Yeah, why it's, it's hard to look at these. You know, I guess I can put it out there because I'm on this show. Um, these Nicki Minaj and Megan style and uh, right. they will do a thing for me because it's old. And like the Cardi B, yeah, when they came out, it was like, oh, something new. All right, now. I'm tired of looking at your behind and your test and all your videos. Where's the bars? Right. Where's the 16 yeah. bars? Where's right. the music? You know, okay, you became, basically became a manufactured label product. Right. Which is like, it's not real hip hop. You know, I mean, I can't say much about um, rock groups, but in, yeah. in hip hop, you know, not, I mean, not just because I like the old school 
uh, women or hip hop. It's, it's the right. fact of every one of them is like the same thing. And it was just like, what about, you know, these other un underground rappers? I mean, there's another rapper name was uh, Rap Rhapsody. Um, not many oh, people heard okay, of yeah, yeah. But she is unbelievable. She is really unbelievable. So it's, and I, that's what I'm saying. I, I always say this because I always end up talking to all the young kids when they find out I do hip hop. And I try to right. tell them, do something inventive. What yeah, you think something you new. Yeah. Do it. Because I thought the same way. I'm rapping about plus size women. Ain't nobody going like this. It's been going on for like six years now I'm doing this. Yeah, there you go. And, exactly. Uh, I tried to do the street rap. It wasn't me because I'm not from the street. So it, it did not match. Now, no, totally. You know, Why is yeah. about something you don't know about? It, it, exactly. So, I mean, it's just hip and hip hop always revolves. That's why I, I never hate on somebody else what they're doing because yeah. I know it's what's going on now because it constantly revolves. But yeah. they, a lot of them just don't realize that when you revolve into another, another kind of, how can I say it? When you want to be go further in this hip hop, you yeah. gotta look outside the box. Yeah, you gotta push boundaries. It's all because about pushing box boundaries. Yeah. Because if I hear another little this or little that, I swear to goodness, I'm a oh loser. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so stupid. Because I'm a little. Oh, the names are so dumb. Oh my goodness! Back in the yeah. day, you used you used your name. I used my name, but you used things that were relatable. Should be nothing past and Little John. Okay, that's it. Little John. <laughs> well, nobody that's else it. <laughs> Little, I, I give it to you. That's his name. His first name is Jonathan. Yeah. So, but he's, he's cool. Short. He's fine. He, he's yeah, good. He's cool. But he's good. We, we all that, that, him. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's just like, and it was funny because they had a funny thing on Facebook naming all those rappers that use that little. I'm thinking like, Really? It, it, it reminds me of that little Facebook thing they would put on there. They're like, if you say add this and add this, this is what your rap name is going to be. It's like, that's how they come up with these oh things. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love goodness. those things. That's horrible. Yeah, I'm like, if I, name. Little, <laughs> I don't get this is your favorite food or and if this is your favorite color and this and this is your what your rap name is. And <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I'm thinking, this is how they're coming up with their names nowadays because it, it's just yeah. bizarre. They have one for bands too, where you can like oh. come up with a band name. It's the same thing. Oh, really? same, same oh, yeah. thing. yeah, it's just stupid. How Some of the new ones I'm like and the year you were born. <laughs> yeah. yeah like that's your, it. your favorite yeah. color and your favorite animal. Or color some stupid thing. You know what I mean? Like oh, really? <laughs> Oh. I said when I got was called MC Ribeye, and I said I'm not playing this game no more. I said I, said, I know what? I'm a big guy, but man, I find that kind of offensive. Let's call me MC Ribeye. You said, MC Ribeye, said, what was he talking yeah. about? Yeah. All day. It was like your favorite food. food and, yeah, I was like, oh my god, I, I like tenderloin. I don't even know MC Ribeye, but anyway, um, oh, no, he I, says I, I just, okay. My son says his new rap name is Last Chance. Okay. Okay. But with a dollar sign on the two S's. Last and the two. All right. Actually, that's the best name you've ever come up with so far. Keep wow. that All one. Right. That's, that's cool. His old that's, rap that's names cool. are I'm sorry, no offense. I love I love you, but your old names were stupid. Uh, keep this one. <laughs> Last chance. Do that one. Thank you. That, that's cool. That that that's that, cool. that yes. name I can get behind. The other yeah. show. No. That's a good one. It actually I tell my like, names when you come up with a name, it's got to be unique, but it also should make sense. Right. You know what I mean? It should make sense to who you are or say something about you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I used to call <laughs> Chancy Claus. I used to call him Ch Chancy Claus. My son's, my son's name is Chance. <laughs> Oh, but okay. I H A N S E. I called it different. Yes, it was Sir Chance a lot. He's come up with some some <laughs> some interesting ones. Sir Chance. Well, ch don't chance the bag. I was like, what? No, 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 no. That's a no. That's a no. 
I'm hey, sorry. I'm all about names, dude. dude. I'm a branding fucking genius. Okay. I come up with like the best fucking names. Oh yeah, Chance of Claus. That was a good one. Oh my god. No. <laughs> no. Stop the madness. Last chance. Leave that one alone. Don't feel back. We gotta wrap it up to right now. His name is and he's 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 big, but a boogie with the hoodie. I don't understand it. I have no <laughs> idea what that name is. He didn't have one song I've liked. I don't I don't get it. I was just like, okay, we have taken this hip hop too far. We were gonna <laughs> do you know chance I mean? the rapper. We were gonna do chance the rapper, but then somebody took it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There's a chance the rapper. <laughs> oh yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, <laughs> well, I think I your name is awesome. So you just you just go by Blackwell, right? Yeah, that's Blackwell, really good. That's it. Okay, that's I like it. that though. I actually really I like do. that because that. It's not just like a last name, but it's like it's, you know, dude. And I love Black Nation. I like how you yeah. do that, and especially when you brand at the beginning of a song, that's really good too. Oh, thank you. I, branding I is everything. That, that was actually that was more of a, I, I think from old school because you know I used to say their their company name and Black Nation because for a while everybody thought like. Oh, are you Muslim? It got nothing to do with that. Black yeah. Nation basically was representing my world. This yeah. is my world of hip hop. That's what right. Black Nation is. It has yeah. nothing to do, you know, that I'm talking about so I listen to all genders. Let me use so that was yeah. my thing with Black Nation. This is me. This is all all my music. So I think it's I, great. I went with that. Yeah, I think it's great. That is good. Yep. I keep it simple. No, but that's good. That's what you want. You don't want some name that sounds stupid. You know what no. I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Phantom. Oh, there's a list. <laughs> there's some dumb ones. There's some really dumb Phantom ones. Phantom something. I don't know. Yeah, I stopped yeah. trying to figure it out a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Even band names, you're like, where the <laughs> fuck did they come I'm up with? Sorry. That? I'm like. Sort of. no. Why? Why did you name yourself that? Anyway, <laughs> but I'm also friends with a band named Orgy, and I'm also friends with a band named Green Jello. So can I go. really talk? Anyway. <laughs> I like Green Jello. <laughs> I'm friends with a band called Radioactive Chicken Heads. I'm also friends. Dude, I'm not shitting you. I am friends with who was that? Uh, Potty Mouth. Oh, dude, Potty you need to check out Potty Mouth. Potty oh, Mouth is the shit. Potty I've Mouth. heard of that name before, believe it or not. Dude, about. they are I good. Think you have. They are crazy. They say the raunchiest stuff, dude. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, okay. they're awesome. I love them. They're like punk rock, but they're like raunchy. And it's just like their lyrics. You're like, what did he just say? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, he did not just That's say cool. that. That's cool. <laughs> Dude, they have the best mosh pits. I don't know. Yeah, I am, this one. I mean, we have too much fun at our concerts. Me and Amy. Oh yeah, <laughs> we have way too much fun. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. We're those we're those chickens in the mosh pit, you know, head banging at the front of the stage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with, with Dilly. <laughs> with oh Dilly. yes, with Dilly. With Dilly Briggs, our friend. Oh hell yeah. yeah. Uh, but she does more rock, though. I don't. I don't think she does anything with hip hop and stuff. We're more yeah, un universal with our music stuff. We right. do like all styles of music. I don't like to limit anything. She just right. mostly like does rock and and metal and stuff like that. So I would say I could send you more towards my friend. Um, I have another friend named Jennifer who's down. Um, I think she's in Georgia, like the Atlanta area, and so she does. All she does, all styles of does uh, stuff. So I think we could get you on there, and oh, yeah. I know a couple other people. I have to think. I know a couple other people we could um, get you in with. So I'll I'll check around and see who I've got. Thank you. You already so know much. K. Really you already know it. Ko. So <laughs> I can't oh, yeah. get I can't go that avenue. But I'll check with all my other um, all my other people to see what I can get 
get you for uh, book four. Thank you. Thank then, you. Oh, and I'll check out my friend Veronica Gonzalez too. That's right. I'll actually hit her up about the TV and the magazine thing and see what we can do to to get that facilitated. Cool. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, you thank you. No problem. That's what we're here for to help you out and get you going in, the, in a good direction. And any friend of KO's is a friend of mine because I love that woman. She's such a oh, good yeah, person. She's, and dude, I, she she's awesome. Eventually. Every time, every time I go to do, every time I go, to, every time I go to do uh, interview with her, uh, the equipment malfunctions. Because uh, because of the whole queen of the paranormal. Yeah, we were supposed to do an interview and it messed up. And I told her, I said, "That's what I'm saying." You, she it's, it just came it's from her. something it's creepy. It's creepy. Yeah, I told her because I said, "You just came from a, a paranormal thing. You sure something didn't yeah. carry over?" Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Every time we go to do this, so I said, "Next time she's going to do the recording," and 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 I'll let. Hopefully that works. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Queen of the paranormal. I'm going to have to go down to New Hampshire. We're going to have to broadcast live together. Dude, she's only one state away from me. She only lives like a, oh, okay. she only lives like she only lives like a couple hours from me or some shit. I could go visit her. <laughs> Get my car and drive. Yeah. All right. Oh, dude. Well, shut the hell up. What do you know? I have a friend named Star Daddy. Uh, my son's talking shit about Star Daddy. Shut the hell up. <laughs> He's badass. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> you know, Justin Symbol. Oh, from, Lord God. That's God hilarious. Because his other stage name is Star Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Star Daddy's the shit. What are you talking about? Okay, if you don't check out, so there's this, there's, he does this fucking song. Um, you have to check it out. Hold on. It's, he's got this song. <laughs> it has you talk about plus size models. Hold on. <laughs> Dude, you got to check out Star Daddy cuz he's the shit. Okay. If you like uh, like the whole thing like a good maybe he'd be good to collaborate with. Yeah, he's really cool. He's fucking hilarious. Goldie. Yeah. He's got a song called Goldie. Oh, Goldie. And and Goldie, yeah. the chick who plays Goldie in the music video is a plus size porn star. Wow. Yeah. Dude, 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 it's hilarious. And he's this scrawny little white guy. And he, yeah. he did a he did this thing like comedy. They were sitting on a teeter totter. <laughs> and she goes to go down. And he oh. goes, <laughs> he's all like, I gotta see this now. I gotta, you gotta I go see it. Yeah. It's funny. So when we're done, you go watch that because we're gonna laugh. <laughs> oh yeah. goodness, I gotta go see it now. You gotta go see this, dude. All right. Anyway, so I want to thank Blackwell, Mr. Michael thank Blackwell, you. for being on the show tonight and putting up with our insanity for two hours. And yes. I don't, I'm like, I never, but I always have so much fun. I never realize it goes as long as it does. I'm like, right? I had a blast. Hours? Holy shit. Okay, we're having fun though. That's the good thing about this. We're talking yes. about your career. We're talking about your yeah. music videos and your music, and yeah, this is fun. You know? And what and what's inspired you over the years, and yeah. who who you like to listen to, and and that's great. So we've been going, we've gone down hip hop memory lane, and it's awesome. We did. It was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate you for being here thank and taking the time me. out of your busy schedule. And thank you, um, and thank you to uh, to your wife for being, you know, for being, for being like, why are they, why are he still talking to these crazy women? Right. Do your interview, get your music, let, let them hear what you got. You, she's like, you Dude, we played her, some so. delicious, some curvilicious. We played a song. Uh, what was it? Okay, and then Pound, Pound Cake. Cake is awesome, dude. Pound that's gonna be stuck in my head for a while. I gotta go listen to that again. In fact, and uh, <laughs> and then we listen to Plus Size. So go check out Blackwell everywhere you can find music. Yes. He has a Spotify channel. Well, go check out his Spotify page, Blackwell. <laughs> go check out his uh, YouTube channel, and go check out all his all his music. Uh, listen. Biggest thing is like, share, subscribe, and follow. Go check out his social media. 
Um, go check out what was that chocolate brother? What was that you had? What's your handle? <laughs> What's oh, your handle? oh, that's a broad story. Oh, um, Facebook, uh, Doc Chocolate MC. Oh, um, there we go. That, there we go. There you go. Another bad rap name I came up with. So there you go. I, I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Chocolate MC. I love it. That's oh, badass. <laughs> uh, go, but go check out, go check out as well your non-existent Instagram page. What is that? Uh, my what Instagram is now, yeah, it's a, it? it's now what official underscore Blackwell. Okay, there you go. Okay, good. Go, what go. is it? Official okay, underscore good. Blackwell. Yeah, I'm gonna yes. have to go follow that too. Oh yeah. All right. Big, actually, okay. Yeah. So, all right, good. And then, so everybody go check it out. Go check out all his music. Go check out all his social media. You know, like his pages, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, follow him. What was it? Follow him on Spotify. Like, you know, every page has a different thing that they do. So go, okay. biggest thing is share it. Go share his social media stuff. Go share his videos. Go share his, all his stuff. So biggest thing is support, help support, you know, artists like Blackwell from around the world. And that's what we're here to do. So thank you to everybody out there. Thank you to the sultry songstress. You're for being welcome. Yet again. Thank you. And yeah. thank you to Shyler Staver, the Mac Daddy of Metal. Wherever, thank you, Mac the, Daddy. wherever the hell you are in the, the world. And then <laughs> come back tomorrow to see fear and fascination, horror sci-fi and fantasy unleashed as we showcase the amazing special effects talents of joe castro oh that's gonna be good and dude this is gonna be an amazing interview Hopefully. i can't wait we're gonna show all his crazy shit like the time he played a werewolf we're gonna go <laughs> Dude, this man is awesome. He's a director, a filmmaker, a writer, producer, freaking special effects artist. He does creatures. He does face stuff. He does blood. He does everything. This guy is fucking phenomenal. And if you don't know who he is, you need to find out. Joe Castro, the only motherfucker to walk off the show face off. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Is it he said, fuck this shit, and he walked out. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's rigged. Fuck you. And he walked out. <laughs> that shows you how much of a badass he is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. Well, thank you to everybody for putting up with us for two hours. Thank, thank you, you to everybody around the world who watched us. Thank you to everybody who commented, except for the stalker. We appreciate you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that out there. We'll see you, you guys right. tomorrow when we come back for more nuttiness. Have okay. A, have a good night. Stay safe. Bye, Blackwell. Have a good night. Blackwell. You too. Thank you both. Thank you so much. Go Love you. BDW. <laughs> no. Shit, Jenny. <Bye. laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> I'll text you later. Say bye. <laughs>